What a speech, Mr. Orban. What a speech. You say you want democracy and you brag about your majorities in the Hungarian parliament. Yet since years, you only rule by emergency decree. Are you so afraid of democracy, Mr. Orban? You say you are for national serenity, yet you invite Chinese policemen to surveil the people in your country. You say you want to stop migration, yet you let Russian spies into our Schengen system and call it national card. That is what you're doing. Mr. Orban, you are not a patriot. You are just a useful idiot of Russia and China. That's the reality. Lively. You say you want to fight for more economic competitiveness, yet you keep introducing new company laws and taxes to drive European competitors out of your country. You turned Hungary into a banana republic. You robbed your population and enriched your family and friends. Under your rule, Hungary has become one of the poorest and officially the most corrupt country in the EU. Thank you. What a fraud. What a burden for your people. Mr. Orban, please step down to make Hungary Mr. great Kerner, again. Your time is up. Uh, Moritz, there's a blue card. Will you take it? Okay, I give the floor for a blue card to Ms. Roth Nevedalova. Thank you very much. Um, Madam Chair, I understand that this is a discussion about the priorities of the Hungarian presidency. Uh, despite the fact that many of the speakers are speaking about their feelings and about the different facts, so they should be taken away the floor. But my question for Mr. Kerner is that, uh, can you explain to me, please, how is it connected, the national discussion or national decisions of Hungarian uh, Prime Minister or the Hungarian government with the presidency of the European Union, because this is, uh, I didn't understand very much from your, from your presentation, how is this correlated or connected? And you didn't very much uh, speak about the presidency priorities, which I would like to hear finally somebody in this room to speak about, okay. because this, what this is up. here is just the, the hearing of Mr. Prime Minister of Hungary and not the presidency okay, discussion, which should be here. Thank you. Mr. Kerner, you have 30 seconds to reply. Thank you, colleague, for this question, because it's really good because it is connected. It should not be differentiated. If you are destroying the rule of law and European values in your country, if there's an Article 7 procedure in place and the rule of law conditionality applied to your country, that should make a difference. You, not, should, you should not make the school bully the school director, and that is what we did in the European Union. That is why this House called for the Council to change that. It could easily be done. We did it already. The Brits, they changed their Council okay, presidency. Turner. There should not be a Council okay. presidency when a member state is violating our fundamental pr you, uh, principles. You, you that is point. what Thank it is you. about. Thank you, Mr. Kerner.